Okay, 20, 24th of August. What's going to happen on the 24th of August? Well, there's been a lot of, um, a lot of, I suppose, soul searching in the Free Tommy movement about how we handle the 24th. And the reality is, the reality is, it's a very simple reality. The police would not give any undertakings that they would change the way they policed the event from last time. So in other words, if the left turn up on the 24th, um, they will be accommodated, they will be marched towards the Free Tommy event and we have the potential for exactly the same thing to happen on the 24th as happened on the 3rd. And let me put this into context. I was on the platform speaking when the left were marched towards our demonstration. There was a reaction straight away from our crowd. And we've got to put this in context of what happened in Oldham, where um, a political demonstration that Tommy was running was attacked by thugs, Islamist thugs from the Muslim Defence League who, who threw all sorts of objects and assaulted people. They were marched there by the police. On the 3rd of August, masked thugs with batons, with flags on them, but with batons in their hands, about foot long broom handles with flags nailed to them, and with, with masks on, were marched right up to another Tommy Robinson demonstration. This seems to be police policy now. Now the police say they will not change this. And if they won't change this, then we have a serious problem with demonstrations in the United Kingdom. Because what this is doing is, is, is quite deliberately disrupting peaceful and legitimate demonstrations. That is completely unacceptable. We can't have that happening. So um, for the sake of the, the safety of people that may come to the Free Tommy demonstration, um, Tommy has decided to cancel the official Free Tommy demo on the 24th of August. However, however, that does not mean, one of the things that we are very, very aware of and mindful of, that there are many people who have booked to come down to London on the 24th to attend a Free Tommy event. And we are extremely aware that a lot of people have spent a lot of money, they've booked hotels, they've booked trains, and they're coming anyway. So the official Tommy Robinson, um, the, the official Free Tommy demonstration has been cancelled. But what we're saying to people that are coming down on the 24th, we encourage freedom of assembly, freedom of, uh, freedom of expression and freedom of speech. We believe in those things. And if people are coming down to demonstrate, we would say demonstrate. Have your own static demonstrations and we will help and, and we will help with suggestions on where to go and what to do and how to do it. But what we don't want is the police basically um, policing the demonstration in exactly the same way that happened on the, on the 3rd of August. So the official Free Tommy demonstration, a mass demonstration which would have probably got thousands of people there, has been cancelled. But there will be, I'm absolutely sure of this, there will be unofficial um, static demonstrations in London on the 24th of August. So if you're coming, um, we know there's, a, obviously there's a, there's a network of a lot of people that know each other. People need to start talking and making their own arrangements. There will not be an official demonstration, but there will be, I'm absolutely convinced of this, unofficial static demonstrations in London on the 24th of August. Um, and if people are doing that, and again, this is something that Tommy, if, if you read the article that's that's in TR News, that Tommy's absolutely adamant about, he does not want people um, getting involved in disorder, getting arrested, um, getting charged. Like you said, he, he's got a few more weeks in prison and then he's out and he doesn't want any of the patriots that have supported him so 
so ferociously for the past years he doesn't want these patriots basically getting arrested on trumped up charges and locked up and we had people arrested for a fray um at the last demonstration as far as i know a fray carries a two or three year prison sentence and it really is a charge where they can kind of get you for almost anything if there's if there's some sort of disorder taking place they can get you and charge you with a fray um so people have to be extremely careful we don't want anyone we don't want anyone going to prison um for going to a free Tommy Robinson event. So the official event is canceled, but if people have made arrangements to travel, we would encourage them to travel. And I'm sure in the week ahead, there will be announcements made in this little network that we've got about where demonstrations might take place. But the official demo is not gonna take place. But if you're coming to London, there will be stuff happening. So still come. If you've made your plans and you, and, and you can't cancel without losing money and you want to come and demonstrate, we would encourage free, legal, legitimate demonstration. As long as it's peaceful, as long as it's within the law, we would encourage it. And we will certainly help people in terms of advising them on how to demonstrate on, on, and on the best places to demonstrate. But we will not be running an official um free tommy demo on that day going forward what are we going to do this needs to be sorted out with the police the police cannot continue to march people who are masked and armed to within spitting distance of our demonstrations that must stop i don't believe that that is legitimate protest the police have a right to disarm these people the police have a right to tell them to, to take their masks off that must start happening and they must be kept away from women, children and disabled people. What happened on the 3rd was a dreadful, dreadful policing operation. It was absolutely appalling. We were lied to and we were deceived by the police. And I'm not blaming the normal police liaisons who we deal with on a regular basis. The, the problem isn't with them. The problem is higher up the chain of command. That's my opinion. That's what I believe. And I believe this needs to be addressed because it is affecting freedom of assembly and it is affecting freedom of speech. It, what they're deliberately trying to do is turn demonstrations that were to all intents and purposes becoming carnival-like demonstrations where people from all backgrounds, um, all creeds, all colours, um, old, young... All different classes were coming to our, our, our demonstrations over the past two and a half years. They were good demonstrations. And it seems that the police and the authorities are deliberately trying to turn these demonstrations into violent confrontations. We don't want that. And if the police don't want that, they need to reach out to us and, and give us some solutions. At the minute, they are refusing to do that. They are refusing to change the way they police these events. Um, that is unacceptable. So my message is, if you are coming to London, still come. Have a peaceful static demonstration or several peaceful static demonstrations. Organise it and, and make it happen. The reason that Tommy and the team don't want it to be done in the, in the name of, the, of, 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 of Tommy is because we believe that it will be policed in a different way. If we have thousands of people coming, we got kettled. All sorts of things went wrong on the 3rd. Um, my personal opinion is having demonstrations in different locations on the 24th is the best way to go. Because again, it's going to be very difficult for the left to target lots of different mini demonstrations. And as long as they're peaceful, you are not breaking any laws. You can go and demonstrate anywhere you want peacefully and have static demonstrations. You are not breaking any laws when you do that. So, 24th, if you've made plans to travel to London, don't cancel those plans, but it's not going to be an official Tommy Robinson demonstration. Um, that's all I can say at the moment. That's my personal take on it. I'm not speaking for the team in this. I'm speaking on, in, in a personal capacity. Obviously, um, officially, the demonstration is cancelled. But that doesn't mean you don't go to London and, and peacefully, peacefully demonstrate. And I'm convinced that people will go to London. That they'll have a fantastic day on the 24th and uh, they will exercise their right legally 
to freely protest about the dreadful things that are happening in this country. Because it's not just about Tommy. Freedom of Assembly is now under threat. And it's like I said, Tommy is always the figurehead for these things. But Freedom of Assembly is being definitely, definitely damaged by what is happening and by the way that the left are opposing us and that the, the police are facilitating the attacks um, against our demonstrations. So I'll see you all soon. Um, this is a, I hope this message is clear because it's it, there's, there's quite a lot to take in. But my message is if you're going on the 24th, go, but it's not going to be an official Free Tommy uh, event. See you all soon.